ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Noah Bramson, the mayor of Rochelle, and the Democratic Independence and Working Families nominee for Westchester County Executive. Delighted to be joined today by colleagues, neighbors, and friends from communities that are impacted by the issue that we are going to discuss, as well as others from throughout Westchester County. Our county has a responsibility to ensure that hundreds of thousands of our residents have safe drinking water. Since the day he took office, nearly four years ago, Rob Astorino has known of the county's obligation to provide, by April 2012, UV treatment for water distributed to Yonkers, Mount Vernon, White Plains, and Scarsdale, an objective linked to water service in many other communities as well. Under the prior county administration, officials worked intently and in close consultation with the federal municipal leaders to devise a workable solution to meet this challenge. Under this administration, that progress came to a halt. Mr. Astorino and his team squandered month after month, year after year, spinning their wheels while the deadline came and went. It is now August 2013. As of yesterday, for 500 days, the county has been in violation of the Safe Drinking Water Act. And the Department of Justice has been compelled to intervene. As a result of Mr. Astorino's failure to lead, Westchester taxpayers face the prospect of crushing fines, $37,500 per day, $18.5 million to date, with more than a million dollars added to the tab for every additional month that passes. Taxpayers may be obligated to undertake multi-million dollar emergency measures that could have been avoided through timely action. And countless families are thinking twice before drinking water straight from the tap. And unless this problem is corrected, the longer term costs will be even greater. Imagine 340,000 people, the population of those communities, using bottles instead of tap. Instead of that, using something like this. That means 700,000 of those bottles every single day. 255 million of those bottles every single year, enough to circle the earth twice over, and an annual expense of hundreds of millions of dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, ignoring a problem does not make it go away. It makes things worse. And unfortunately, this is part of a recurring pattern. Time and again, the Astorino administration has delayed important decisions, incurred unnecessary fines and penalties, prolonged divisive disputes, and then pointed the finger of blame at others instead of taking responsibility for cleaning up its own mess. On housing, Mr. Astorino dragged out a losing fight with the federal government spending untold resources on frivolous legal arguments, such as the preposterous notion that he could simultaneously veto and promote legislation, depriving residents of $17 million in community development grants, another $3 million in lead paint abatement, and necessitating the threat of contempt proceedings to uphold the rule of law. On transportation, just this week, we barely averted an immediate crisis over funding the D-Line bus system only by employing another emergency stopgap solution that doesn't change the long-term financial risks to the county. Mr. Astorino had years to prepare, but instead waited for the 11th hour and 59th minute to act. And now, on an issue so critical to our environment and our health, Mr. Astorino is trying to dump the burden on local communities, mayors, and managers that have been left out of the loop Add this latest failure and the total price for Mr. Astorino's neglect, our money at risk, is nearly $40 million and counting. To put that number in perspective, for the same amount, we could restore full funding for child care through 2023, or full funding for neighborhood health centers through 2026, reversing the devastating cuts that had impacted so many families and children in our region. So we're here today to say enough is enough.
because Westchester can't afford more incompetent and extreme government by crisis and brinksmanship. Only new leadership can put these disputes behind us, rebuild a constructive relationship with other levels of government, and ensure that our hard-earned dollars are no longer wasted on fines, penalties, and legal fees, okay, but instead directed to the needs of Westchester's residents and taxpayers. Thank you all for being here. Thank you.